And with that under my belt, my musical director, Paul Shaver, said I, something like, you know, well, David, it is just a positively a nutty gas to see you this evening. And he just, the fact that I said anything broke him up. And he said, do, <laughs> do more of that. Uh -huh. Last night, I got to tell you, though, things haven't changed. Eight year anniversary at the amphitheater, and I take the mic to start to say something that's not on. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, things have not changed. I would replace the sound guy. That sounds like the problem on the show. <laughs> Would you you All right, never mind. No, go ahead, go ahead. Go no, ahead. no, no, There's no. We, we love our sound guy. No, I know I'm teasing. Now, you grew up in, in Canada, right? Thunder Bay. I'm Thunder sorry. Bay. Yeah, from the north. Now, it's only until recently that Thunder Bay has been called Vegas North. Was it, was it, was it, uh, was it, uh, was it a big, I mean, it's kind of hard to go from There's, show business. It's true. There's, yeah. a lot of people say, how did you become so hip to show oh. business lingo and stuff coming mm -hmm. from? Canada, you know, where there was, let's face it, when I was going up one station, the CBC. Right, the Canadian. the policy was, whatever's not entertaining, we'll put on, yeah. a, <laughs> on an educational show. And my, my family, you know, we had to watch anything educational we watched. But I guess I got it from my parents. My parents were hip. I hate to use the word. Parents were hip? Well, they, they loved show business. And it used to be a thing in the neighborhood. The neighborhood kids would want to come over and watch the Ed Sullivan show with me and my family right. because they had the hippest commentary. My mother would just sit there and say, uh, she was married once, got divorced, converted when she married Tony Bill and is divorced again. And my dad would say, there's a good hair piece. Oh, there. <laughs> You see, Paul, now there's a piece which you can't tell it's a piece. Yeah. But it really is a piece because yeah. of the way it's gone. So, you know, the kids would say, yeah, well, yeah. this is, you know. And even today, I have a weekly conversation with my, with my parents. Uh, every Sunday, I call them. And uh, the conversation is really just show business, you know. <laughs> so, Paul, I saw all David's shows, you know. She said, uh, my mother said, don't, don't say suck on the air. Oh, you said suck on the air? Well, I said, Mom, it was, it was a written oh, piece. Mm, 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 it was written by the writers, you know, mm, mm, a line that I should... Well, I don't think, you know, well, a he nice has to boy. Do that should, kind of, yeah. Yeah. People yeah. don't like it when yeah. you do that type of thing. And then, so listen, did Roseanne Barr really get married? Is she, what do you know about that? You know? Well, see, that's what they think. My parents think, because I work in show business, I know everybody in show business. Right. You know? Like when, when uh, Elizabeth Taylor broke up with that... Uh, that that guy, the used car guy, remember that guy she was married Wherever to? Wherever she was with. I mean, it's on the news. I'm watching it. Elizabeth Taylor, my mother called. Do you know anything about Elizabeth Taylor? Oh, she's on the other line, Mom. She's crying her eyes out. Can I get back to just, you know, like we would know. You know, like we would know. Now, did you... Did your dad, did he ever work in comedy? Did, didn't your dad have something to do with comedy? My dad is a, is a lawyer, actually. Yeah. He's a lawyer, so he is into comedy. But, uh, <laughs> well, in college, he was a performer. He was a singer, mm -hmm. actually. He sang in the... It's something called the U University College Follies, which was a student uh, comedy review, which he used to co-star in with those nutty kids, Wayne and Schuster. I don't know what. Oh, they Wayne and Schuster then. from the Ed Sullivan Show. Yeah, the Canadian comedy team from the Ed Sullivan Show. Yeah, and, and you know, and my dad. I don't know whether it was called Wayne Schuster and Schaefer, but he did work <laughs> with them at that yeah, time. Yeah. And says, you know, <laughs> it was a different time then. I could have yeah. gone into show business. He always wanted me to be a lawyer, but I think secretly. He wanted me to go into show business, yeah. you know, maybe to fulfill, fulfill, I don't know what, you know. Some design. Well, they must get but a kick out of yeah, it now. Yeah, they love to. Well, they get to tur turn on the TV and see me every night. And Except see how for I that look. time you said, suck well, I didn't, on the you know, air, lady. Sometimes you're forced to say things hmm. on a television show. Yeah. It's not really the kind of language that... Well, they're not. probably crying their eyes out she right now. They say, oh, I feel terrible now. And you going to play for us when we come back? I'm here for a very important purpose, actually. I'm here to merge... West and East. Oh, that's I right. have my band here, Will Leeson, McGinnis, Anton Fig, the yeah. world's most dangerous band. And we're going to be able to come back? We're going to play a little bit with Doc Severson and the NBC Orchestra. Okay. Merging the two sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the two Later sounds. On. We'll be right this back the after this. The merging. <laughs> this is very exciting. We have Paul Schaefer and the Tonight Show Band. What do you see this uh, group here? It kind of looks like one of those 60s softball games with the cops versus the hippies, you know? <laughs> but this is, uh, <laughs> this is Paul Schaefer uh, and the Tonight Show and, and, and his band from, the, from Late Night with David Letterman and the Tonight Show Orchestra doing the theme from Late Night. Please welcome, here they are, whatever they call themselves. They're unbelievable. This is the merging East and West. Here we go. Two, oh, one, two, three.
experiment works. The melding, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Terrific. Well, that was... And that's one of the songs that is nominated for the Grammy, right? My Grammy-nominated pop gra instrumental of the year, co-produced, if I may say, with Will, Sid, and Anton. They the do a great job. And how about another nice hand for Doc as well yeah. in the band? Huh? Just great. Be right back after this message. Terrific.